Welcome to The Boiling Point, I'm Richie Ware. This is Brian Grindstaff, the man behind theboilerwarehouse.com, and we wanted to make sure that we talk about sight glass today. Sight glass is something that is certainly important on a boiler. Um, first of all, what is it? What does it do? Uh, well, a sight glass is a code requirement for most of uh, equipment in a boiler room uh, to show you where your water level is at inside of your boiler. Okay. So you know you have enough water in it to keep it safe. Okay, now there's um, several different types um, yep. and, and I wanna go over each one of those and then why we would use those on the different applications. Sure, so some of the most common types you see right here, you've got a red line sight glass, you've got what they call a reflex glass that's actually got uh, refraction here so you can actually see the water uh, through this refract refraction on a on a heavy duty type sight glass. Okay. Uh, they also make these in a flat type. Okay. Um, and really, those are the two most common um, for for what would meet code on a boiler. Right. Um, you've got some other types that are like a like a magnetic or even the stuff that lights up and shows you by by lights. Right. Where where the water level is. Um, those that don't necessarily meet code by themselves, but those are other ways to get visual indications on the water level. And they're getting pretty sophisticated in that you got some remote yep. stuff as well, right? Yep. So uh, the mag magnetic stuff, the, uh, the, the probe type with, with the remotes, I mean, you can run those to operator rooms. You can, you know, really put them wherever you want to see, you know, to see that data of, of what that looks like. Right. So where would you use this? This, the red um, this is one of the most common, this is the most economical solution that you see in the boiler room. Mm -hmm. um, they go on small boilers up through, you know, some, some pretty large boilers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, manufacturers, they're, they're, they're an economical version to put, uh, like on uh, the McDonnell Millers uh, is a common low water cutoff. Mm -hmm. So that's typically where you see these on, on ranges up to uh, really a couple hundred pounds. One of the questions that I know that's searched a lot is how do you actually measure the sight glass? Yeah. <laughs> so of course, these lengths can all vary depending on what your boiler is. Uh, if you're putting this on one type of McDonald Miller or another, the dimensions are gonna be slightly different. Right. So uh, pretty much every manufacturer, you measure them the same way. So okay. these are United Brass Valves. This back here looks like a set of Cambraco valves. Um, you really, need to take a measurement from the center of the nut okay. from the bottom uh -huh. to the center of the nut on the top. Okay. That gives you a little room to slide it up, slide it back down in the bottom and tighten both ends okay. securely. Okay. So that'll give you a little bit of bite on both sides. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay. So why would we use the heavy duty? Well, the heavy duty, of course, um, you know, that's the Cadillac. The, this, is, this is made out of glass. And as you know, in, in, in uh, boiler rooms, there's a lot of vibration, there's a lot of temperature, there's a lot of, you know, industrial type things. Sometimes people can bump into things. Um, so while this is the economical version, this is more of a bulletproof type version. Okay. Um, so they're higher pressure rated. Um, like this, this assembly right here is rated for a thousand pounds. Okay. Um, these are typically rated for a couple hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we, we still put these on 150 PSI uh, boilers just for the simple fact that those can leak pretty regularly and they're pretty fra fragile because they're, they're glass. Sure, sure, which most of the rental equipment that we have in our trailers, we put those on the boiler. Yep. Um, as you see these on deaerators as well. Yeah, you'll see those on really almost anything. We, we've got them on our DAs. Um, it, anything that really has water in it, that's a really good way to do that. I mean, we've, we've seen them on oil tanks, DAs, feed water tanks, um, uh, blow down heat recoveries. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a cheap economical way to be able to see your water level. Sure, all right, well, perfect. Well, we appreciate the info. Make sure that you go out and check out our uh, YouTube channel and you will see how to actually cut this glass, that's something yeah. that we've done, as well as we've actually had one where we put a sight glass on a boiler. So there's yeah. uh, two different videos that you can follow up with this one that will be uh, somewhere below, I believe the links will be below and you can check those out. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.
Appreciate Brian hanging out with us today to talk a little bit about the sight glasses. Now, on BoilerWarehouse.com, I know that Brian actually has the McDonnell Millers that are fitted from center to center um, uh, kits that they've put together with these extra heavy duty uh, gauge glass. So uh, make sure you check those out. Speaking of BoilerWarehouse.com, have you seen the new launch? It just launched on Monday, uh, last Monday, and we are excited about that. Go out and check out BoilerWarehouse.com. If you don't have an account, you can sign up, um, as well as if you have an account, you need to reset your password. So make sure you go out and check that out. So like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, share the videos and make sure you go out and check out our weekly boiler tips and our steam culture and all the other great things that we have on the website. And we will see you next time on The Boiling Point.